Howdy all, math with Chris. Let's look at the factors of uh, the number 28. Well, first thing we always do, as we know, bank the two easiest numbers, that's one and the number itself, 28, get those out of the way. Uh, now let's branch this guy out and see what we can do. Well, what two numbers uh, can multiply together to give us 28? We've got a couple of options here. Uh, we could go with four times seven, or we could go with two times 14. Uh, either of those would work. I'm going to go with 2 times 14. So let's put those into the tree. 2 times 14. Let's look at the, uh, the 2 first. 2 is a prime number. That's done. Circle them. What about 14? Can anything multiply together to give us 14? Uh, of course, we can do 2 times 7. That gives us 14. Let's take a look at the 2. We know that's prime. What about 7? Is 7 prime? Yes, sir. Circle them. So two, uh, we've now circled all the prime numbers, and if we go down the, 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 the tree, any branch we go down, we end up in a circled prime number. That means we are done with the tree. We got a 2, a 2, and a 7. Uh, so the prime factors of 28 are 2 times 2 times 7. And if you double-check that, that does indeed give you 28. So we got that right. Uh, let's go ahead and bank the uh, the prime factors we got, which was, of course, 2 and 7. Um, and any numbers we hit along the way, uh, well, we hit a 14, so that means that's a factor of 28. Bank that guy. Uh, and then come back down here uh, to the prime factors. Is there any other combination here uh, where we can multiply any of these numbers together to get a new number that we haven't banked yet? Well, we got 2 times 7. We already have 14. What about 2 times 2? Ah, we don't have a 4 in there. Trying to, uh, trying to avoid us, but four, we, we got you four. Nice try. Uh, anything else? Two times two, four. Two times seven, 14. Two times seven, 14. We're done. We got six factors of 28. One, two, four, seven, 14, and 28. That is a wrap. Now we have a bunch more similar type videos of finding factors using factor trees if you want another example. Uh, take a look at the video you see in the upper left corner. Uh, until next time, guys, have a great day.